Thank you. There, there were some uh, questions about the procedures that were undertaken on uh, Mr. Oswald. An airway tube was inserted. Uh, of course, blood tests were made. Uh, blood, blood transfusion uh, was given. Uh, fluids were administered. A chest tube and a catheter were inserted. And I am advised that there was no bleeding externally. It was all apparently internal on Mr. Oswald. Well, uh, are you ready for your, the full statement? Yes, yes. Okay. Dr. Tom Shires, Chief of Surgery at Parkland Memorial Hospital and Southwestern Medical School, advises me that Lee Oswald is currently undergoing surgery for a single gunshot wound that entered on his left side and did not exit. The patient is in extremely critical condition. Dr. Shires will make a personal statement when the surgery is completed. Is this airway tube, this endotracheal tube they use for these cases? That's right. I beg your pardon? Where is that, Pete? Okay. Uh, there were those who asked what emergency procedures were undertaken in the emergency room uh, prior to the patient being taken to surgery. Uh, an, an airway tube was inserted. Uh, to uh, in, into the patient. Uh, he was given blood and fluids. A chest tube was inserted and a catheter. There was no external bleeding. Any other questions? I'm sorry, I don't have the time. Pete, would you check the times for us? The exact time Mr. Oswald arrived in the emergency room was 11.32 a.m. 11.32 a.m. He was there 10 minutes, so that would make uh, 42. Uh, 1142 was approximately the time that he left the emergency room to the operating rooms of the hospital. Thank you. What operating room? I do not. Know. I beg your pardon? Is his wife here? I do not know. I do not know. You know where the family is? I do not know. I'm sorry. Can you find out the operating room? All right. Chairman. Uh, and does anybody else need the statement now? Okay, I'll read the statement from, from the top if everybody's ready. All right. Can we get the petition open up? Yes, Pete, open the petition, please. The partition. What is your position, Doctor? Uh, I'm not a doctor. I'm Steve Landrigan, uh, Assistant Administrator of Parkland Hospital. Right here. And I wrote today with the board because I was running out of voice. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. Dr. Tom Shires, Chief of Surgery at Parkland Memorial Hospital and Southwestern Medical School, advises me that Lee Oswald is currently undergoing surgery for a single gunshot wound that entered on his left side and did not exit. The patient is in extremely critical condition. Dr. Shires will make a personal statement when the surgery is completed. Are there any questions? S H I R E S. How long do you anticipate Several hours. John. Any other questions? How did they go from the emergency to surgery? He was taken by a special elevator directly from the emergency room to the surgical suite. Well, Governor Tony's in the same uh, wing with him, right? At the present time, that's correct. Are they next door to each other? No. How many rooms down? Uh, well, it's. it's, it's uh, I don't know exactly what's in those rooms, but there's a good distance separating them. Uh, That's correct. Did you see Oswald when he came in, sir? I did, sir. What did he look like? Uh, he was uh, he was uh, unconscious uh, and was uh, looked moribund, although I am not a physician and it's difficult for me to describe. There was no external bleeding. It was obvious. Yes, I did. What was the color of his features? Would you tell me that, sir? It would be difficult to describe. I would uh, Asian. Thank you. A very pale, very pale. Gentlemen, if you will excuse me, I will attempt to get further information and come back down and give it to you. Uh, that is a, a statement that, that would have to be made by a physician. All right, go get it. Gentlemen, uh, let me...
get another drink of water and I'll be right back. Mr. Steve Landrigan, the assistant hospital administrator, says that he will have information from Dr. Tom Shires out of surgery momentarily on any change of condition of Lee Oswald, who was brought into this hospital at 1132 in extremely critical condition. This is Charles Murphy in the press room of Parkland Hospital. Anticipated slightly when you say you had anticipated. No, I, I do, do you this, let, let me reword that? Uh, our job is to be prepared. Uh, we had received word that there was a considerable crowd down there, and uh, uh, so we had just alerted the emergency room in case there was any type of disorder involving the transfer. I did not mean to imply that uh, we had anticipated that there would be a shooting. Excuse me if I did. You've described this condition as extremely critical. Has any arrangements been made for possible last rites? I do not know that. I'm sorry. Have uh, you inquired about his religious affiliation? Uh, uh, this uh, uh, is a routine inquiry that is made down, down there. I, I do not have that information. I'll be glad to ask uh, to uh, find out as soon as I get someone here I can send for it. All right? Thank you, sir. We've been talking. Oh, all right. right, Will do. Mr. Steve Landrigan, the assistant administrator, is going to repeat a statement from Dr. Tom Shires, who is in the operating room now with Mr. Dr. O- with Oswald. I gave, if you'd like to have it. Would you read this now for all right, us, I'm going, please? I'm, this, this, is the, this is the same statement that I read earlier. This is the same statement. I'm repeating it for the benefit of those who did not hear it earlier. Dr. Tom Shires, Chief of Surgery at Parkland Memorial Hospital and Southwestern Medical School, advises me that Lee Oswald is currently undergoing surgery for a single gunshot wound that entered on his left side but did not exit. The patient is in extremely critical condition. Dr. Shires will make a personal statement when the surgery is completed. When do you anticipate It will be several hours. Would you repeat that, please? The whole statement? Yes, Dr. 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 Shires will make a personal yes. statement after Shires, surgery. surgery. That's the story from now at Parkland from Memorial Parkland Hospital in, from and Southwestern Parkland Hospital Medical School in Dallas. Advises me that Lee and I, depending on where you are, what's going on? Mr. Landrigan, did the hospital anticipate any incident with the transfer of Oswald down to the county jail this morning? Mr. Uh, C.J. Price, who is our administrator, Uh, called me on the telephone and uh, told me that uh, in view of the fact that a crowd uh, had uh, gathered down there for the transfer that we should alert the emergency room in case any type of disorder was involved in the transfer and we would uh, need our emergency facilities. Did police inform him of the crowd or how did he determine that uh, Uh, the crowd was there and that to my knowledge uh, this uh, was based on his own uh, intuition which uh, uh, you learn to develop when you handle 300 emergency patients a day, as uh, he does in the emergency room. I do not know that he that he was told uh, by anyone. I don't believe so. I think that it was on the basis of information that he had uh, heard on the radio that this was happening. Did uh, the hospital staff, the surgical staff, follow the developments in this case from the basement of the city hall out here? Were they prepared for to receive Oswald when he arrived. Uh, We were uh, notified uh, after the shooting occurred. I'm sorry, I do not know how I presume by the police uh, uh, dispatcher that ordinarily notifies us in uh, this type of situation. And uh, we were down in the emergency room when Mr. Oswald arrived. The administrative staff was down there and of course the emergency room staff was there awaiting his arrival. Thank you, Mr. Landrigan. Steve Landrigan, the assistant administrator of Parkland Hospital. A new statement, a new statement now on the condition of Oswald. Give us a minute to, to, to read the note here. Mr. Landrigan has asked for a few moments to digest the new information which has just been brought in by an assistant. Some notes have been made. Some notes have been made. He's trying to digest them. He will make this statement for us. Dr. Tom Shires has sent word down that the patient, Mr. Oswald, has a massive injury to the abdomen with major vessel injury, 
bleeding has been controlled. However, the patient developed a cardiac arrest and is now undergoing open chest cardiac massage. Let me elaborate. A cardiac arrest means a spontaneous stopping of the heart. Uh, the chest was then opened and the surgeons are at the present time uh, with their uh, hands massaging the patient's heart to try to uh, restore a normal heartbeat. I'll repeat that. He is, yes, is he, he consumed? Well alive. A, cardi a cardiac arrest does not mean that the patient is dead at that moment. Many patients who undergo cardiac arrest are revived and make a normal uh, recovery. Dr. Tom Shires has just sent word down that Mr. Oswald has undergone massive injury to his abdomen with major vessel injury. Bleeding has been controlled. However, the patient has developed a cardiac arrest and is now undergoing open chest cardiac massage. This means that the patient's heart stopped beating and the chest was open and the patients are massaging the, pa the pardon me, the surgeons are massaging the patient's heart by hand uh, in an attempt to restore a regular heartbeat. But some, some rhythm of beating has been restored? I do not know. The uh, message that I got is that they were presently massaging the heart. I'm sure that we will be uh, advised the, the minute that there's a further development. Okay, Steve, yes. I'm going back up there. Yeah, go up there and, and let us know if... Uh, Mr. Landrigan's assistant is leaving to go again to surgery to talk with Dr. Tom Shires. The patient, Oswald, is very near death. He was brought into the hospital in what has been described as a moribund condition. He is very near death at this moment. Dr. Shires says there has been a cardiac arrest. Technically, that is not death in the language of surgeons, but the heart did stop beating. Whether or not beating has been restored, we do not know. The chest has been open, and massage Yuzi, is taking place Mr. in an Yuzi, effort to restore heartbeat or speed up heartbeat. Would you call Charles Murphy, reporting from right Parkland away, Hospital coffee, Press Room. As much as they can say been advised from surgery that Mr. Oswald is still alive and has been put on a pacemaker. Now let me explain what a pacemaker uh, let me explain what a pacemaker is. A pacemaker is an electronic instrument that uh, sends electronic impulses through the heart, uh, causing the, the heart muscles to react and it sets the heart beats at the proper pace. That's why it's called a pacemaker. Now, I'll be repeat that statement. I have been advised that Mr. Oswald is still alive and has been placed on a pacemaker. A pacemaker is an electronic instrument which sends electrical impulses into the heart which causes the heart muscles to uh, expand and to contract and sets, restores the normal rhythm of the heart. Are there any questions? This came in uh, at uh, about 1.12. Mr. Uh, and Dutton just brought it in to me, this one of our administrative assistants. This improvement or a... Uh, this represents an improvement uh, in that the, the, the man is still alive and his heart had stopped the last statement that had been this made. This means the open chest massage is at least temporarily successful. Apparently so. That's the story out of the surgery, surgical room now from Dr. Tom Shires. Lee Oswald is still considered among the living, but he is very, very close to death. Charles Murphy reporting from Parkland Hospital Press Room in Dallas.